Right. In terms of, in terms of um, the number of people, Indigenous people there are in the population, they're overrepresented in Parliament. And that is something of which we should be proud. It, it, it just, I know you were going to butt in there before, Michael, but it, it just feels to me hmm. that if, if this is the argument that Labor is going to make for the yes vote, they're setting the yes vote up to fail. Exactly. Exactly. Well, right. look, this, refer this referendum, this referendum, you know, to me doesn't get past the threshold question: Should we divide this country by race in our constitution so there are Aboriginal yeah. Australians recognise the constitution and therefore non-Aboriginal Australians? Well, the answer is firm fervently no. Of course, you cannot no. divide this country by race, and that's what this constitutional amendment does. And for me, that's the beginning and the end of it. But I'd say this to Linda. Yep. There are thousands of Aboriginal corporations, committees, advisory bodies funded by government, state and federal across this country. And there have been thousands of these bodies for decades. What are you saying all these bodies have failed? No one's listening to them? Uh, that, that 24 or 36 people elected to par by... by, by the, the Aboriginal constituents across this country... Uh, uh, that is suddenly going to be listened to. You know, a couple of dozen faceless people are going to be listened to, whereas... These thousands of committees have, have, exactly. have not been listened to. I mean, why would this be any different? It won't be any different. You know, the, the issue is this. Let's get some politicians, and Abbott was one, because Abbott spent a week a year in an Aboriginal community when he's Prime Minister. Here, here. Here, Let's here, get here. politicians, not, yep. not like that mob in the Northern Territory. I don't know how that Chief Minister is still in office, by the way. Um, she called the alcohol bans racist. Um, let's get some state yep. and territory politicians who roll up their sleeves, get on their hands and knees and help out distressed Aboriginal communities and not sit in their ivory towers in their five-star offices with, with air conditioning and, and free food and drink and all, all the luxuries of, 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 you know, elected office. Get out of your closets and your ivory towers and get down there and help Aboriginal people. That's what these politicians mm. should be doing in the Northern Territory and in Queensland in particular and in Western Australia, obviously, where the larger Aboriginal communities are. Mm. This is a national disgrace. And for <coughs> Albo to spend four hours there, shame on you, Albo. Shame on you.